Good day to you all, both retaining and new subscribers. Our focus for today's lesson will be on troubleshooting this baby. Our serial to USB converter or adapter. We use this cable to connect to our console cable. As we all know, our modern PCs don't have serial port. So what do we do? We connect our female part end of the console cable to our male part end of our serial to USB connector or adapter. This is how we connect it. And the USB part goes to our PC and the LAN point or the LAN part goes to our console cable. So get a cup of coffee, a book and a pen to take notes for today's skillful lesson. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button or bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop another skillful lesson. Welcome to another lesson of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtech series and will be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. As we all know, modern PCs and laptops don't have serial port. Instead, they use USB ports and at some time, our serial to USB converters or adapters don't work and they need us to troubleshoot or debug them. For example, I have already connected my cables to my switch and my PC. So now I'm going to open party and connect to serial cable to see what will happen. Okay. I'll click on serial and I'm using COM5 for my connection. And if you want to see what COM port are you using, you go to computer management and inside computer management you click on device manager and on the menu that appears, you go to ports, in brackets it's written COM and LPT. Okay, you click your drop down arrow and as you can see, I'm using USB serial CH340 and as I've said, I'm using COM5. Okay, let me minimize my computer management and then I'll click open so that we can access our command line interface okay let me click open and see what will happen and as you can see we got the message from party it's an error message it says unable to open connection to com5 unable to configure serial port okay i'll click the ok button so what do we do from this stage okay let's see if we go to device manager let's go back to device manager and then Let's double click our USB serial CH340 to open it. And then in the GUI that opened, I'll go to drivers and then let's click on update driver. And then search automatically for drivers. As we can see, the message that we got, it says the best drivers for your device are already installed. Now, let me close. Since well, it says the best drivers are already installed, let's try again maybe it updated our drivers i'll click on serial and then com5 then i'll click open again and we're still getting the same message so how do we troubleshoot or debug this problem in order to troubleshoot or debug this problem we have to go to the website that i'm going to type or search for and download the drivers for our serial to usb converter or adapter let me open google chrome you can open whatever search engine that you are using. I'm using Google Chrome. And the website is www.wch-ic.com. And then I'll press enter in order to search for our website. Now that we are inside the website, we go to services and under services, the menu that appears we click on downloads and on downloads GUI we scroll down and then we click on 
drivers and tools and then on the GUI that opens we go going to scroll up until we get the drivers for our USB to serial converter as we saw the cable that I'm using is CH340 so I'm going to scroll down I'm looking for CH340 okay. maybe I passed it let me go up again this one CH342 no it's not okay let me go down here it is as you can see CH341 cvs.exec and it's CH340 or CH341 so I'm going to click on the ser.exe okay I'll click there then I'll scroll down then click on download and now that my download is finished let me open it and on the GUI I'm going to click on install so that I can install the drivers okay we click the install tab and then we wait for our drivers to be installed and then as you can see we got the message driver installed successfully okay I'll click OK and let me minimize my GUI and then I'll close my search engine now that we are done with our drivers installation from the website let me go again to party and then we click on serial radio button and I'm using COM5 you must put the COM port that you are using and then I'll click on open and as we can see right now we are able to access our command line interface let me click enter and you can see now I can access my switch it needs a password and with that we have arrived to the end of our lesson hope this lesson was beneficial and informative and if you gain a lot from this lesson please share it with someone who will also gain from it and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop a skillful lesson with that let me love and leave you have a blessed day thank you